So transformers are used as part of data source queries. They allow us to transform the incoming data to be in the most useful shape it can be for use in our application. It's often a requirement when retrieving data from relational data sets or from APIs to be able to find deeply nested parts of that data and surface them to be as accessible and useful to our users as possible. So in this example, we're going to add another REST API. So plus REST API and continue. And this is going to be REST, there's going to be data from the open breweries. So as before, we'll name our query and we'll add our route. We'll send that off. So when this comes back, we can see we get lots of information. If we look at the raw query, we get this array of objects that are telling us lots of things about our brewery. And if we go to the transformer, we can see it's returning the data. So it's not changing the data at all. It's just returning it as it receives it. Let's use this data to find out how many breweries are in each state in America. To do that, I'll define a new variable called breweries, which is just going to be set to the incoming data. I'll then create a new object for the totals. Next, I'll loop over every brewery that's in the breweries, and I'll create a variable for the state, which I get from brewery.state. If that exists inside of my totals array, so total state exists, then I'll increment it by one, Otherwise, I will set it to one. In the end, then, I'll create an array from object.entries of totals, and I'll return a mapped version, so I've got, an, I've got a series of objects of state and count. So I'll save my query, and I'll send it again. If I look at my preview now, I can see for each of these states how many um, breweries there are in the open database. We could do more and we could enrich this data, maybe adding the state flag or some other information, the locations of each brewery, the towns maybe. As long as we return our data at the end, once it's been transformed, we can then get the schema and preview the results. Transformers work in REST APIs, but they also work when we think about custom queries. So when we create a custom query, we can also update how the data is formatted and presented to our application after it's been queried from the database. And that works in exactly the same way. We get the data from our query and we can write JavaScript to be able to enrich that data and transform it so it's as useful to our end application as possible.